Zombie Apocalypse. Alright guys, so just a little update on Kieran's build. We went around last night at about 10pm and picked the build up. Um, he's been kind enough to let us have a day with it to try and find out what's wrong with it. Suspicions are probably the motherboard, but we've ruled it down to pretty much either the power supply or the motherboard, so we'll give that a shot today. I've got the spare parts um, to test each component individually, so we'll give that a shot and we'll see how we go. Um, I might even replace some of the cables if it ends up being the cables that are out because I've, I've got spares for that as well. But um, today's going to be a very, very hot day, so I thought we'd just get outside and um, into the caravan, just where all the computer stuff is. It's like our little computer room, and we'll just work on it here where all the uh, tools and everything are and all the spare parts. So I'll update you guys soon. Okay, so what we know so far about this build is we've tested cables, so we don't think it's cables that are wrong. We've put the stock cables in and we've had the custom cables in and none of them have worked. So either it's a freak mystery that both don't work or it's the power supply itself. So I just want to rule out the power supply and just bring it down to the motherboard. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my own power supply, exact same model, and we'll plug all the cables in and we'll see if we can get this up and running first. If it doesn't boot, then we're left down to the motherboard the CP and the CPU. The RAM I'm pretty sure works, but we're going to test that as well. Okay guys, so our first test that we've done, we've taken the old power supply out and I've put the new one in and I've rebooted it a couple of times because the issue seemed to happen when it boots it just shut down that's uh, the problem that Drew was having anyway or he just couldn't get it to boot at all so I've actually successfully rebooted this probably five times over a period of an hour and it all seems to be working fine so I believe that it is a power supply issue because these cables are actually the ones that we use with that so we've had no troubles with them cables so it's pretty much narrowed down to the power supply. I'm going to chuck this in for Kieran. Um, he can enjoy that and hopefully he has a brand new computer running. Oh, what? Well, hopefully tonight. Um, I, sh I should be able to drop it off to him tonight if he's available. Um, if not, then oh, there's always tomorrow. But what we're going to do now is we're actually going to just make sure that it's this power supply. We're gonna hook this up to another system and we're gonna see if it uh, all runs smoothly. So, we'll get into that now. Okay guys, so we got the old, well not the old, but we got Kieran's power supply hooked into a, just a, a, a pretty basic system and we're just gonna try and test that, to see if it actually is the power supply or not. That's the issue. So, we're to decide whether it's the issue or not, obviously, if this doesn't turn on, then it's got to be the power supply. So, um, yeah, let's give it a go. And we have no power, so my guess is it's the power supply, but I'm just going to do one more thing, just, just for peace of mind. I'm going to bridge the one of the um, ground cables and the green cable and we'll see if it turns on by itself which is normally the process you do if like you're going to fill a loop or something like that and you, when you're leak testing you have your 24 pin out and you just bridge them cables just so if you do end up with a leak um, nothing should short even though you should be using sort of some um, some non-conductive liquid which most of them are anyway but um it's just for just to for safety precautions really so let's give that a go okay guys so we've bridged the 24 pin so let's try and uh see if this, this thing works so what happens is um because you've bridged the cables, as soon as you turn it on, it should pretty much start spinning and start working, but obviously it hasn't, so it's definitely a faulty power supply. So Kieran, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put your system back together, tidy it up, 
put the new power supply in there for you and um, you can enjoy that buddy. Okay guys, so we just put the sleeve cables back in. We just want to test it one more time before before we put the uh, all-in-one cooler back on and um, yeah, so here we go. So far looking so good. No errors popping up. LED lights and that are working and there we go, it's booting so the issue is definitely the power supply, the cables are fine so how about we uh, get onto the cable management. Okay guys, so Kieran's PC, um, we've pretty much finished with most of it, now we're just sort of doing all the programming side of things. Um, he's decided he wants a little overclock on it so I've been running some Prime 95 for a bit and um, We've got 4.5 gigahertz at 1.3 volts and some nice temperatures. It could be pushed a lot further, I reckon, but um, just want to keep it nice and safe. And I also don't want to ruin it because um, I'd feel bad as well. So I'm just going to leave it at that. And if he wants to um, try and tweak it a bit more, that he can go for that. And um, yeah, so 4.5 gigahertz still is a nice overclock there. And um, you know, I'll just continue to run Prime 95 and we'll see how we go. So you can see there, 4.5 gigs and core voltage of 1.296 volts. So far, so good.